the whole video is black and white. I love black and white videos. Man, I have so many videos coming. I'm excited about all of them. And I'm also going to be dropping a mukbang slash explaining my intros that people have been asking for and my outro song so that everyone can know what it is. But stay tuned. Turn on your bell post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I drop a video. And like, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the crazy conspiracy team. And without further more to say, let's get into this. Now, you guys' comments have been sky rocket in i've been seeing every comment and they are really good i love how into this you guys are like i am and some of you guys's comments and opinions thoughts are really good and i just have to make a video about it I, I can't even keep up at this point but you guys just keep giving me comments just keep doing it because i'm loving it and i'm definitely reading them but anyways in today's video i'm gonna be kind of digging into the lawsuit that diane and michael settled for over Aliyah's death in 2001. We're also going to be talking about whether or not the airport people lied, why her parents won the case, a little bit about Aliyah being afraid of planes, and no way would she have gotten on it. Her brother and boyfriend, the Lenny Kravis plane that he sent for Aaliyah, and about Damon and what he knew but did not tell Aaliyah about. Yeah, let's just get into this. Now, I often heard about Diane winning a lawsuit against the airport and such, but I never really looked into that because I know it's just bull crap, and we all know that it wasn't the airport's fault this was a mission for a group of people, I believe, who wanted to kill Aaliyah. I also want to say, too, that suing the airport was the Houghton's only choice. What else could they do? I mean, if they would have tried to argue that her death was suspicious and that she was murdered, they would have to bring some hard proof, which there wasn't any. And that would be some strong accusations because there is literally no proof. I mean, all of this took place in the behind. Bahamas. Even if they wanted to, they'd be going up against the Bahamas and there's no telling what those people are capable of. If they're willing to cover it up, which clearly it got covered up somehow. It, it just wouldn't make sense for Diane to do that. So the only thing she could have done is sue and that is about it. But anyways, let's get into some of these things that I have on my list, which the first one is Diane and Michael settled negligence lawsuit over Aliyah's death in 2001. Now, now, I'm pretty sure they already knew they were gonna win this because there was definitely negligence within this whole situation. They failed to make sure they got a pilot who was fit for a job, not only just a job, but for a whole celebrity. But no, they got a pilot who was on his first time flying. Also, they failed to clearly put their foot down when it came to them going up with heavy luggage. Why did they let them go up? That's negligence. and. I I'm pretty sure Diane and Michael at the time, along with her brother and probably her whole family, knew that this was not an accident. This was not over luggage. Aaliyah already caught her brother and had thankfully told him that she was already afraid when she saw the little plane. She was scared to get on it, which tells you a lot. It, it really helps that she caught and told her brother that because for years they had everyone thinking that she was at fault for her own death for wanting to take all of her jewelry and clothing up with her which was a big lie so if it wasn't for that interview and Aaliyah having told her brother that she was scared of the flight she did not want to get on and for her brother even making that interview we would just be thinking that Aaliyah really wanted to take that stuff up along with the people that were with her which is sad that they would even try to blame Aaliyah it had nothing to do with her I believe anyways the next thing on my list says financial terms for settlement not disclosed whatever they settled for financially was not disclosed and I find that really weird I mean you would think that they would at least want her fans to know what they settled for and if it was definitely worth it because Aaliyah's life was definitely worth it everyone's life is worth it so it wasn't disclosed that's that's a little strange to me but actually 
something just popped into my head about the settlement not being disclosed but that's gonna be another video so definitely make sure you have your bell post notifications on so you won't miss that video it's definitely just gonna be a theory I want to let everyone know a myth theory whatever and also subscribe become part of the channel now I used to only just hear that Aaliyah's parents sued the airport but when I looked it up they actually sued a lot of people which is really really crazy so I'm gonna name a few for you it just says that they sued the planes operator Black Hawk International Airways also they sued Crafts Owners Skystream Incorporation Gilbert Sh and flight broker Atlantic flight group which is a lot I did not know that they sued all of these people that is crazy really really crazy and I mean it had to be something more than this for them to settle but I mean this this is really a lot and I'm glad that they got a little bit of justice although this is not even half of it if you will this is just the beginning of what probably took place with Aaliyah so it also says that the investigators believed that the overweight luggage was the reason why it went down it was over 700 pounds now I, I find that so hard to believe I mean why can't they answer the simple question of why would Aaliyah still want to take her things being scared to get on that flight like why can't they answer that and of course it also said that black hawk lacked permission to operate commercial flights from the bahamas there's no wonder why she sued all these people and she won because there was so many things that they lacked and it's not just Aaliyah. they should be cautious with every single person you know people trust them to handle their lives basically for some hours and they should make sure that everything is cool but with Aaliyah, something just was not right i just cannot put my finger on it though but definitely black hawk lacked at everything every aspect or Aaliyah will still be here the attorneys for diane and michael houghton filed notice in federal court to say the case has been settled slash agreement to keep details confidential i see something wrong with this in so many ways i would definitely want my if like if i had a famous daughter and she died mysteriously i would definitely want her fans to know what went on what we got in return you know let them in a little bit but something is being held back someone paid diane and michael really good or their attorneys worked something out or maybe just told them to just stay quiet or they were gonna be next there's nothing they can do uh would have been a big fight if they would have said anything else happened to her but all they could really do is sue the airport and whatnot you know it's not like she can sue the illuminati <laughs> i don't think anyone has ever tried that i don't think they probably want to <laughs> but everything was confidential meaning private slash secret intended to be kept a secret so what was so sacred about what they closed on you know, I know it's really none of anyone's business, but I really would like to know what made them settle. Are they scared? Did something scare them? Did their lawyers tell them something about what would happen if they did try more? Like, I would really like to know why they never fought harder. I'm pretty sure that her whole family knew it was not an accident because you could just see it in her brother's face during one of his interviews. They're not dumb. Shortly after Aaliyah passed away too, her mom was doing a few interviews and she was showing up to events and showing up to gatherings and then it all stopped it's like she she wanted no more she came or like she found out that her daughter was murdered you know maybe she found that out and i think at first maybe they did think she got into a plane crash and that it was just an accident just like everybody else thought and once they probably found out that it wasn't an accident they probably got scared or got threatened by someone I I also heard that the people at the airport lied about the arguing that supposedly happened that day and that it was proven in a civil case but i don't know how true that is and i also want to say that if she hadn't told her brother and her boyfriend that she was afraid of that small plane and really wasn't feeling it, it enough to get on we would never 
have this big mystery, this suspicion surrounding her death. So that helps a lot. That's like a piece to our puzzle because no one's trying to figure this out that's in law. They don't want it to be solved, but we know differently. I also have a question for anyone who was ever around her during that time. The question is, did she ever even hear about the plane that Lenny Kravitz sent for her? Because clearly not if it was easy for Hype to just take it like that. It just had to not have been ran through Aaliyah. I think that if she would have known that Lenny Kravitz was sending her his plane, things would have been differently, to say the least. I also just noticed that Damon Dash knew about the plane that Lenny Kravitz sent for Aaliyah, but did he not tell Aaliyah, like, ahead of time? Like, what is going on? That's why I think Damon has something to do with it, because Damon is just pointing fingers and calling people out, and I'm just like, you were her girlfriend. You couldn't send your own girlfriend a private plane. She called you. She let her brother know. Why couldn't anyone get her a plane, you know? And he knew about this Lenny Kravitz plane, but clearly Aaliyah did not hear about this plane, because she either got on the Cessna or she was put on the Cessna. Either or, she did not know or I'm pretty sure she would have hopped on that private plane that he sent for her. But no one told her about this plane. No one tried to even help her figure something out. I don't know what went on. But I think that her death might be one of the biggest mysteries in history, especially when it comes to celebrity death. It's a mystery. I mean, they tell us that she wanted to bring bags and that the plane was heavy. The pilot was under the influence and such. When in all reality, there's so many things on the internet that says otherwise. But anyways, that'll be it for today's video. I will be back with another one, I promise. I know I've been slacking, but I will definitely be back. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video make sure to turn on your bell post notifications so that you'll be notified every time i drop a video like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video stay crazy